Acne. 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 What is acne anyway? Now, there are a lot of different types of acne. Acne mechanica, acne fulminant, pyoderma facial, acne conglobata, consort acne, pomade acne, acne rosacea. But the most common form of acne, the one that we generally refer to when we simply say acne, is acne vulgaris. These are the blackheads and the whiteheads and the bright red pimples that torment us in our teenage years, that sometimes turn into papules, pustules, nodules, cysts. That may sound like a lot of fancy doctor talk, but what's actually happening happening inside your skin is really quite simple, kind of. All you really need to know is that your skin is constantly shedding dead cells. It's the natural way that our skin breathes and rejuvenates itself. Some of those dead skin cells get out through your body through tiny little holes called pores. People, everybody hates their pores. People talk about them nonstop. These pores are connected to the oil glands through a canal called a follicle. These oil glands produce a greasy substance called sebum, which is your body's own natural moisturizer that lubricates your skin. Trouble begins when the process slows down and the oil and the skin cells clump together and clog the pore, blocking the pathway out. Think of it like hair in your shower drain. Clogged or not, your body doesn't just stop creating more oil or skin cells, so what happens is that instead of going out, all that oil builds up underneath, which pushes out the skin, creating the bump or pimple that we all dread. Acne goes into full bloom when the bacteria known as P. acne jumps onto the scene. To fight this mob, your immune system rushes bacteria fighting white blood cells to those seeds. And the unfortunate side effect to all of this is a reddening of the skin in the infected areas. So what does it look like? It looks like a volcanic explosion, like a pizza gone bad. So just imagine, when you have acne, what's really actually going on is an epic power struggle between your immune system, bacteria, cells, clogged pores. Nothing can get free. That's the simplest way to understand it. Acne tips. Number one, use an acne skin routine twice a day, every day for the years you have acne. Number two, ideally your skin routine should contain some combination of benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, and an alpha hydroxy acid such as glycolic acid. Number three, use a moisturizer. All acne treatments are drying to the skin and you will have a reflex oiliness unless you use a lightweight moisturizer. Number four, try some do-it-yourself acne remedies such as plain Greek yogurt. Mix with a spoonful of honey. Apply it to your face. Another option is plain egg yolk. For more recipes, see my book, Heal Your Skin. And number five, if your acne is severe and is not going away, don't waste any time. Go see your dermatologist. I hope you enjoyed and were informed by this video. Be sure to subscribe and check out the links to some of our other videos here and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Dr. Ava Shamban and this is Dr. Ava Says.